The Faroe Islands, or simply Faroes, are a North Atlantic archipelago island country and self-governing nation under the external sovereignty of the Kingdom of Denmark. They're located 320 kilometers north-northwest of Scotland and about halfway between Norway and Iceland. Getting to the Faroe Islands is easier than expected. Long gone are the days when the Faroe Islands were inaccessible. Now you can fly directly from Edinburgh, Reykjavik, or Copenhagen on Atlantic Airways straight to Vagar Airport. There are talks of New York flights soon as well. If you've seen pictures on the internet or been there, you know nature is beautiful and there are a lot of unusual and unreal places. But now there was talk of a new project that was built and promised an extraordinary experience. And guess where? Undersea. An aquatic-themed underwater roundabout, the first in the world, was opened below the Atlantic Ocean, linking up two of the Faroe Islands. The structure, made of natural rock and decorated by Faroese artist Trondor Patterson, resembles a jellyfish and is illuminated with blue and green lights. The jellyfish roundabout lies at the end of an 11-kilometer-long tunnel called Eistero Yartunnelen, which connects two of the most populous islands. Local leaders hope that the improved transportation link will encourage tourism after the coronavirus pandemic subsides. The travel time between the capital of Torshavn and Runavik and Strender will be cut from more than an hour to just 16 minutes. The drive from Torshavn to Klaxvik will be shortened from 68 minutes to 36 minutes, according to the company behind the project. The roundabout also seems set to become a tourist attraction in its own right, with photos of the project being shared widely on social media. To continue the video as soon as possible, you just need to click on the subscribe button and that's it. Thank you. Let's take a closer look at this project. The tunnel is a two-landed undersea tunnel that has three tubes that meet at an underwater roundabout, 72.6 meters below the surface of the Scalafjordr Fjord. The tunnel is 2,153 meters long from the entrance at Rokini and Saltines to the roundabout, and the distance from Sogiv to Strender to the roundabout is about 1,625 meters. The main branch from Torshavn to the roundabout measures 7,460 meters and resurfaces by the village of Havitans. This results in an overall road length of 11.238 kilometers, making it currently the second longest subsea road tunnel in the world, surpassed only by the Ryfast Tunnel at Stavanger in Norway. The roundabout is the world's first subsea roundabout. To increase safety, no incline in the tunnel is steeper than 5%, and the lowest point is 189 meters or 620 feet below the water's surface. In the center of this roundabout is a giant central pillar of natural rock left behind during the construction blasting. This giant pillar is now illuminated and decorated by a prominent Faroese artist, Trondor Patterson. Around the pillar is an 80-meter steel sculpture representing figures in full size holding hands around the roundabout. They stare inwards at the light like worshippers around a volcanic fire. The figures are walking from darkness into the light, and they symbolize the very Faroese idea that by joining hands and working together, we achieve great things. Construction of the tunnel started in 2016, and the opening of the tunnel for general traffic was on December 19, 2020, which was 18 years and 9 days after the opening of the first subsea tunnel in the Faroe Islands, the Vaga Tunnelin connecting Torshavn with Vagar Airport. For the Eisturo Yar Tunnelin, there was a ceremony with speeches and music before the tunnel opened, which was broadcast live by the Faroese television KVF. Emergency response vehicles had been allowed to use the tunnel a few months before opening. We told you that this is an unusual and incredible project, but besides this tunnel, there are many others on the islands. People there seem to be crazy about tunnels. Why? Well, Faroese build tunnels like no other. The 18 islands making up Faroe Island have 53,000 inhabitants and now 20 tunnels, of which three are long tunnels under the sea. Two more are already under construction, and another 14 are on the drawing board of the wish list. This is a lot of tunnels, isn't it? Well, it's not much for the Faroese. Do you like tunnels? So folks, now it's your turn to talk a little and share your opinion on this topic in the comment section below. We'd like to know your opinion or even criticisms. At the very end, don't forget about the three clicks, like, bell, and subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, share it on your social media and help us get more subscribers. Thanks for your attention and see you again soon.